Hi, welcome. We have started with uh, Kali project and there are already some articles ready. So at this point we call it Kali 1 and in the category Kali 1 we have three articles. And I guess when you're building an ISO, um, we should also check it. So article number four is going to be, let's check out and see if Carly ISO is working and if we can install Arch ISO with it, uh, well, Arch Linux with it. So that's number four in the phases and uh, we have our, our GitHub available to download so you can follow along if you want to build it. It's going to be on our GitHub. Maybe we should give it a more um, better place in the articles. So the GitHub, this is the one you download zip it, clone it, git clone it, download it, whatever you want. Then you have it on your system. Then you run the script, build sh. So Linux ISO, Carly one, you just build this one. And if you already built something, if there are already out and work, you just clean it up first, then build it with sudo. And you get something, you get an out. So that's been done. Today I've built a new one. At 627 megabytes and VirtualBox is ready. Carly one is here, optical drive, choose disk image. Make sure you have the correct folder. Made a mistake the other video. When you try out stuff, make sure you have the very last one in there. So double click, that's one. We have Arch Linux as logo that boots up. And we're booting up with our own Arch ISO that we created called Carly. So that's a normal look that we get. Um, next thing is actually going to Article Linux D because you don't know all these things by heart, nor should you. There is just a tutorial here, phase five, Archway, either you have an older machine or you have a newer machine. So you choose whatever you want. This is VirtualBox. So um, I haven't changed anything. This so normal standard is an old MS-DOS look. So that's this look. So yes, indeed, we boot it up like that. So you follow along. So we're gonna make a quick, quick, quick and dirty installation to see if we can make an Arch Linux installation from our own created Kali. So moving that out of the way, I'm just gonna go over the motions rather fast. Let's see if I can do a control F full screen, fine. So load keys is my first problem as always. BE Latin one, I have my Azetti, yay. So scrolling to my, on my other monitor, you just scroll down, pre-installation, that's that. Load keys done that, verify boot mode, not necessary, I know. We're on the internet because it's a virtual box. No need to ping it. Update system clock is the first thing I need to do. Time, date, CTL, set, NTP is true. Okay, no typos, done. Just always check again. Scrolling, scrolling, we need to partition everything. We can do that with CF disk. Okay, we are using DOS, not GPT, just so that's UEFI, that's MBR, DOS, free space, a new one, 20 is a little bit uh, much. Well, um, let's see, you can either do it with a swap or without swap, so I'm gonna do it um, without swap in this video, less work, faster done. So primary and the partition type is Linux 83. So type is already correct, 83. If I would make a swap, it would need this. So 83 is good. And bootable is also important and quit. No, write is important, yes. And then you can quit. So this is what we've made, just one thing one big root and no swap whatsoever. So a little bit different than the video, the, the article, which makes sense 
There are other uh, examples as well. So we have a variety of possibilities, not just this one. You don't need to follow the tutorial, you're free. So in this case, I'm forgetting about swap. It's explained on Adglux D with swap. Uh, scrolling, scrolling, at formatting. So here we are, we want to format the file system with X form, like so. I'm always pressing tab, so I don't need to type too much. Device SDA one, you can see the choices you have. Up, done. Swap on and all that and make swap. I skip it, there is no SDA two. Let's mount this thing. Into the folder mount. So we do have something, we have an uh, complete structure. So I've just mounted your um, SSD SDA1, right? And nothing is on there. Okay, so that's fine. Back where I was. And then scroll down, scroll down, installations like the mirrors. Let's just look at the mirrors. And the first one is United Kings, Link Kingdom, so for me that's okay. Like I said, dirty and fast. Just go on, install the base and base development. That's an application we came across in our Arc Linux ISO backstrap, and it's going to put these packages base and base development inside our um, SDA1, so the mounted partition. So everything that's happening here, let's wait for it to install everything and then show you in the mount folder what happens there. Mount folder is not a folder, it's actually a partition. It's part of the hard disk. We mounted a partition in there. 155 packages. Artist Linux keyring, Pac-Man mirror list. Those are mid, uh, more in the middle, more there. Port and things. System D is there. So try to read more and more of these applications. After three, two, three, four years, you get the, the, the most important ones. Like the Linux kernel is now installed. All right. So Packstrap, quite an inter interesting thing. It installs everything on our SDA1, I think. So LS, remember we're here, CD, when we go to the mount, nothing was there, now we have a complete system. So a complete future Linux system is on our hard disk. That's basically what Backstrap did. Uh, back to here, it's okay. So going to configure the system, the generate file system tab. Let's do that. And then a big capital U and then where here and in what file will we put it? We will put it in mount. Whoa. No typos allowed. ETC F S tab. This is important, so normally I always check it that there are no typos. Once upon a time there was an empty file. Well, an empty file does not boot. Or no file at all. So now we need to have something. Okay. Just one line, of course, just one partition. Then we're gonna go to the official the future system. So we're going to change our arch root. So we're now inside this this slash mount folder, and this is our system. Okay, the colors have changed. So you know you're now in the system. 
that we will install. Time zone is the next thing. So, yeah, we can skip this, I know, but let's do it completely. <clears throat> zone info Europe, Brussels, and ETC local time is going to point to it. Hardware clock, sys, I see, and that's done. Scroll, 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 locale. I have, I believe, a faster way, a shorter alternative. So let's go for the shorter alternative. Language equals eight. No dash eight. Let's compare. Okay. That's that. My key map, so you change it to whatever you want to have. That's something you need to remember and figure out. Oh. Okay. ETC. Vconzole.conf. That's that. Scroll, scroll, scroll. The host name. Echo Arch Linux pointed to etc hostname. That's in there. Nano etc hosts. And that's a lot of type work, so whatever, just type it, be fast about it. Tap, use the tap button, local host. All about structure. Control X, yes, please save. Scroll down, network configuration. I want to install on the future system already network manager. So when we boot up, everything just works out of the box. Okay, that's that. Now I'm gonna enable it. We're not, we are already sudo, so no need to type in sudo systemctl. We are in control. Enable. Now do type it with all the capitals like I do. Well, let's do one without capital. Let's do one with capital. Okay, got it. So that's done. InitRamFS is no longer necessary. Root password. Okay, that's necessary. Passwords. That's the root password. That's done. Bootloaders are necessary. I tend to forget things like that. <laughs> well, you're not able to boot. Simple. Don't forget it. And then we're going to grub install device SDA. And that's done, finished, no error reporting. So any of the lines you forget here, gonna bite you. It's gonna sting. Right, that's done. Now we are at the reboot phase. And we can exit here, so we're out of the arch root, which is red again. And then there's a new code, it used to be minus A. So now it seems with minus R amount, you can actually have no errors at all anymore. And we need to reboot. Now we boot from the existing OS. So we have our own partition, our own FS tab. We have our own account. That's going to be root and my password. 
and sudo, well, we are sudo already, so pacman minus syu. Oh, everything is up to date. So I am scrolling. Maybe we should show this a little bit. Um, where is my page? So we just reboot it, log back in as root, scroll down, reboot after shutdown VirtualBox. Um, we can get rid of the ISO here. We've not done that, we've just took the second line. And then we go on. So the next things are on that page. Let's scroll. We've checked online, AUL perks are later, multilip, I'm gonna skip multilip. Uh, that's just an S and hashtag away. Bash completion, it's important. Pacman minus S bash completion. And I want to use the, the tab. So that's um, done, bash completion. Not working now, but will work when you reboot. Relogin. We can do without it for now. Minus G users minus groups. What groups do we have? The video group, the network group, the wheel group. Oops, no spaces. Wheel the storage. And if you want to have Bluetooth RF kill group minus s and we are using the bash for eric that's it password for eric it's going to be a very complicated word and then editor equals now sudo eric needs to be able to do something on this machine uncomment this one like so yes yes Exit this thing and log back in as Eric. Now we see if we can update our system with sudo this time, since we're not administrator or user. So that was this one. Exit, password, logging back in as Eric. And then the next step is going to be something, right? We need to have something graphical to show our Carly ISO is actually working. Um, well, let's scroll on. So, sudo pacman minus s xorg. Something graphical. The server from xorg, xorg apps, and xorg x init and xterm. That's it. Default, default, enter, enter. Scrolling down, I'm thinking what desktop I will install, just for the fun. But we need something to uh, be able to log in. So LightDM is something we use. In the meantime, he's ready. Pseudo Pacman minus S and it's LightDM. The auto completion is working, so I can press my tab gtk greeter i need let's skip the gtk greeter settings to sp save some time we just want to know will it work is carly working so that's that we have to enable it say okay light dm next time i reboot be there that's done but I don't have anything. Well, LightDM is there, but I can't pass it along to anything behind it. There's no Plasma, there's no Mate, there's no Cinnamon. Well, yeah, why not install Cinnamon, right? Anything, any system later on. Pseudo Pacman minus S, okay. Some, I type something strange in there, it seems. Pseudo Pacman minus S. I think it's called Cinnamon. I don't know. Yep, it is. With 532 megabytes, you have a complete desktop. And we're going to see what's the initial look because if you are using already Arch Linux D Cinnamon or Arch Linux B Cinnamon, then you see that's, um, well, I hope 
you like the look, the theming, etc. Because when we install it from Arch Linux, just straight out of the box, it's gonna look different. All right, so if that's installed, we can reboot. Remember that um, the ISO is still in there, so the Carlo ISO is still Carly ISO is still in there. So uh, we need to say boot from the ISO or boot from the hard disk. So boot from the hard disk, of course. This is the not tweet light DM. And this is the not tweaked cinnamon. So all these things are normal. The message up here is all normal, no mistake, all good. Fonts have not been installed, so um, this is what it is. And those are the icons. Standard and everything is gonna work, like the settings are here. So this is your look, your initial look coming from Arch Linux. But the point of the video was, is this enough to get things rolling? So the Carly ISO is okay. We can install Arch Linux with it. And that's the point of the video. All right, cheers.